Hi, I'm Steve Bigger, Director of Equity Research for S&P Capital IQ. Welcome to this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. With me today on Equity Analyst Forum is Real Estate Investment Trust Analyst, Roy Shepard. Roy, welcome to the program. Great, great to be here. So this week's focus stock of the week is Boston Properties. Can you tell us a bit about the company? Sure, Boston Properties is a uh, real estate investment trust uh, focused on supply constrained urban markets or central business districts. Um, its biggest markets are markets such as Boston, uh, San Francisco, New York City. Um, we really like the stock at this point because those markets are seeing good job growth in areas such as technology and healthcare and life sciences. We also like its strong balance sheet, which we think uh, puts it in a position to pursue both acquisitions and new development. Um, it currently has a backlog of about $1.8 billion in projects under construction, which we think it'll complete over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. So how about from an industry outlook perspective, uh, how do you think they're going to benefit? Well, we're neutral on the overall industry in terms of fundamentals, but what we like is that there's been a real lack of new construction over the last few years, and especially in central business districts, and that's been good for existing landlords, including REITs. Mm -hmm. How about some new projects? Are they working on anything? Yeah, well, currently their biggest project is a uh, one million square foot office tower in Midtown Manhattan. That should be finished in early 2014, and it's about 50% pre-lease to law firm tenants. Also, they just announced they're breaking ground on a new 60-story office tower in San Francisco. When completed, that will be the tallest tower on the West Coast, and it'll be adjacent to the new Trans Bay Transit Center, which should help drive demand over the long run. Mm -hmm. Now, REIT's obviously well-known for uh, being great yield plays, uh, so how do you look at the payout for Boston Properties right here? Sure. I mean, they increased their 2013 dividend by 18% to $2.60. Uh, that's a payout ratio of about 50% of our estimate of 2013 funds from operations of $5.22 per share. That's still conservative by REIT standards, so we think there's room for another dividend hike over the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the share price at these levels? I like it. Uh, our target price is $131. Uh, that's based on our estimate of net asset value using projected 12-month cash flow. On a priced FFL basis, it does sell a little bit of a premium to peers. However, we feel that's justified by its strong uh, earnings growth potential. Mm -hmm. Any risks you'd highlight? Well, I think the biggest risk for REITs is, is the economy. Absent job growth, you know, they may not hit our earnings targets. But even so, we think its large and well-diversified portfolio will perform well under most investment scenarios. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Roy. Sure. And that's been this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. We'll see you again next week.